guys so I'm thinking I'm going to do my makeup because I haven't done my makeup in a pretty pretty long time ago since Christmas and that was like what uh, five five days ago Saturday yeah five days ago so Morphe and Kathleen White's palette and this one has some nice bronzy shades and pinky shades I kind of want to use I think I'm gonna use this palette only because I haven't really worked with it I've only swatched it and I've only used this color right here which is kind of like her nail polish it's like she took the pigment and just like made it into a nail polish I can see that that's like her favorite one of her favorite colors I have I have her lippy sticks that she came out with ColourPop. I have one of her eyeshadow pop, the eyeshadow quads that she came out with ColourPop. And I'm gonna use this today. Only because I kind of want to do a New Year's Eve look. And I, I have a burgundy, I kind of have a burgundy dress on its way. I don't think my shoes are gonna make it in time. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use this palette today. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm going to start with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to use my Top of the Bar palette to use the transition shade. I'm going to be using Milk Chocolate, which is this one right here. So I'm going to take... My blending brush, my dirty blending brush, and I wash it. Tap off the excess, and I'm gonna use this mirror. And I'm gonna use this in my crease as a transition. Now, I, I'm not gonna put down a mat to set the, uh, to set the primer potion, because I am using shimmers. Whatever. We're going with it. So, I'm gonna put this on the other side. I have hooded eyes. So, I have to do things just a little bit differently. So, we gotta work with what you got. And make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Now I'm gonna take my my other blending brush if I can find it. Yes. I'm gonna take um, white chocolate from my chocolate ball palette and help blend out those edges. Again. I never said what kind of brush this was. Uh, this is my Morphe M513. Uh, there you go. Okay, so then I'm gonna take a salted kernel and put it a little lower than the crease. Okay. Now, now that my transition is in place, I'm going to use the Kathleen Nice palette. Unfortunately, these don't have any. Nope, scratch that. I'm going to take this pencil, no, it's Morphe M330 brush. It looks like this. I'm going to name these. So I'm taking Caramello, or Caramello. I Kathleen called for nail polish and I'm gonna use that just to bring in you know, some mustard into it and this palette doesn't have a mirror so I have to use this brown mirror that I have here and I'm gonna just you know put this Oh, 
No, it really looks like I got punched and it's an old bruise. We're gonna fix that. I promise. Okay. I like Morphe brushes. I mean, I like Morphe shadows. Very creamy, they're not powdery. Um, very, very pigmented, and they're quite cheap. Now we're going to use the burgundy. So I'm gonna take this dark burgundy that's right here and just pack that in. Hopefully it's not powdery. It looks very creamy. Then you're gonna take this brush again, the M513, and take caramelo. Oh, I'm gonna call this one raspberry. Puckered, I mean, pucker raspberry or raspberry raspberry tart. There you go. So I'm gonna take caramelo and use that to blend the two colors together. Hmm. Caramelo again on the other eye. I don't want to use more brown because if I use more brown it looks like it's gonna get darker and I don't want that and then I'm gonna add a little bit more of this raspberry tart just because I feel like I've lost a, a lot of it okay Now, I'm gonna take some of this NYX glitter primer and put it in the center. Just soak um, the glitter, the glitter um, eyeshadow has something to stick to. And I'm going to take this brush by Morphe. It's called the M124 brush, and it's just a flat shaded brush. And I'm going to take a Moretto and just pop it in the middle. So I'm completely blocking. What I'm gonna do is, I feel like this looks, <laughs> I feel like I need to make it a little more three dimensional. I'm gonna take some marzipan and champagne truffle and put it in the very center. Uh, between the glitter and the matte shade. What I'm going to do to add some, just a little bit of definition, because you can see, let's add a little bit of definition. I'm going to add some cherry cordial with my pointed blending brush and put it in the, put it in the outer. So now we're going to take, I'm going to take um, a tissue and I'm only going to wet it just a smidge, follow, I'm going to follow this, my natural eye shape and take off any excess that I might have <laughs> and any fall out that may have fallen on the bottom that I didn't that I don't notice <laughs> okay um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use um, uh, 
eyebrow pencil today. I was gonna use my pomade, but just use a, a pencil. It's because I ha my eyes are pretty defined today. I'm gonna take my next my next micro brow pencil in chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. And just define my brows. On camera my brows look like they're filled in but they're not boring. So uh, I have to fill in where I over tweezed. Now for highlight, I'm gonna use my Kathleen palette. I'm gonna take this fresh shade right here. I'm gonna put this in the inner corner. Put that in the inner corner. Now, what I'm gonna do is put this shade on my follow the natural arch of my brow. Fingers. Look at that highlight. <laughs> um. Now, I'm gonna use my NYX Treasury liner in black and use this on my water wow <laughs> my eyes are watering okay in front of me. I'm going to take the Morphe E35 brush with milk chocolate and just blend out the liner. I think. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I'm not used to seeing myself with this much on my face. So I'm gonna take milk chocolate again and smudge out that color. And I'm gonna take salted caramel with a pencil brush. I make a geek and send out on me. Harsh. Fly away. Fly away. They're real. My benefit. Push up liner. I want to use it. It is interesting. Oh, I see it. Okay, so. I'm gonna do the tiniest wing. Yes, for my highlight. It is Color Pops Super. And I'm 
gonna use my Estee Edit highlighting palette that I got. I love this palette. I come on top of it with 14 karat glow. I'm gonna take this blush by Milani. It's called Romantic Rose. This is one option for me. Oh, I did not add mascara. Oh. That'll be the last thing I add. So I'm going to use. Watching. This is what the finished product is. I just went with it, and this is what it looks like. Doesn't look that bad, but like I said, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> oh, I love you. Totally kidding. <laughs> like I'm never gonna go on a date but I promise it's gonna look good I've been doing this for an hour